What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this. <coughs> now hopefully you like this effect, and let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so believe it or not, this is actually very simple to do. So as you can see, I've got my video open up here, and this is where I'm just talking. And then this is the basic setup. So you'll see, I talk, and then when I say I'm going to be showing you how to do the effect, that's all you got to do. You literally just open your mouth and just hold it. So you can see I'm at four seconds right now. I think I held it for like two seconds, three seconds maybe. Just about two seconds. And that's all you need to do for the basic setup. So when you import the video, of course, right click the video, properties, Disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. What this does, it reduces any ghosting that may occur in the video. And now from here, we're going to find out where we actually want the effect to start. So I'm going to play, pause, play, pause. And I don't want to start there, I want to start right there. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard to split the clip. Now we choose how long we want the clip to last. So we play through. And let's go back a bit there. I'm going to delete the remaining by pressing delete and now we can just drag everything back together like so just like this so now this middle clip here is the one where we're going to do all the effects to first thing you need to do is right click it and select copy from there right click the video track and select insert a video track and now just click, simply press ctrl v on your keyboard to paste it now you'll notice it comes up with the audio as well there's no audio therefore you can right click here and select delete now the first thing we're going to be working with is the mouth and the mouth is going to be done in this top layer using the event pan and crop. Now if you don't see this logo or this icon right here simply right click and select video event pan crop. Now this is what you'll get and what we'll be working with is the masking tool right here. Now I believe masking is only available on the pro versions so with that being said if you don't have a pro version what you can do to counter this is you guys use a cookie cutter effect completely up to you you can try it out i think it will work but for those that do have mask let's continue so make sure you're on the move tool and just zoom into your mouth what we're going to do is mask out the mouth now it's not going to be accurate and you'll see why so come to the pen tool right here and all we're going to do simply left click and mask around it just like so you can see it's messy at the moment and it does not even matter when it comes to the final so i'm going to go like that and now you want to make sure the path is opened. You want to make sure the mode is set to positive, anti-alias is yes, opacity 100, the feather type needs to be set to out, and the feather needs to be set to 2.0, and then just press enter, just like that. Now, believe it or not, you're done with the mouth part. So come back to the event pan and crop, and all we're gonna do is position it to how we want it. So make sure lock aspect ratio is checked, make sure size about center is checked, and simply just drag it in. As you'll see, the mouth is getting bigger. Just like that. <laughs> it's pretty creepy. <laughs> but I'm just going to uh, position it how I want it. Again, use the arrow keys how you like it. There we go. I think I'll stick with that. I'm going to press the X button because we're done with the mouth. Now we're going to work with the eyes. So you come to the event pan and crop on this track that we haven't touched yet. So event pan and crop. Now we're going to come to the masking and just use the move tool and zoom into the eyes. Now again, we're not going to be accurate. So you'll see we're going to go to the anchor creation tool again and we're going to mask around the eyes. And you can see not 100% accurate around the eyes because you don't need to be, but it's just something like this what you need to produce. Connect it up, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, what we need to do is change a mode to negative. The anti allies is yes. The opacity can come down to about 60 to 50%, so I'm going to put 60%. It looks like I have a black eye. The feather type is set to both, and the feather percent is 2.0. Select enter, just like that. Now, everything we just done on this eye, we're going to do the exact same thing to this eye. So we're going to use the exact same settings, and we're just going to, first of all, mask around it. So again, just go around it, and if you do make a mistake, or it's a bit too far out, for example, just press Ctrl Z on your keyboard, and it'll just go back, and you can redo it. And connect it back up, and that's what you should get. 
So again, mode is set to negative, anti-alias is yes, the opacity is 60% or 50 to 60, completely up to you. The feather type is set to both, just like so, and the feather percent is 2.0. Press enter and you're done. So now you don't touch anything with the eyes, the next thing we need to do is add some video effects. So as you'll see video effects is right here, if you don't see this tab then simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. But before we do that let's take a look at what we have created. Now of course there's no sound because I'm not recording the system audio however just like that we've done that mini effect. So now we're going to add the video effects. So for this you choose what colour you want, so you're going to add on colour corrector if you want a different colour or you can add on black and white if of course you want black and white. If you want it to stay the same then you can make it stay the same but this is just what I recommend. Now we are going to add on the brightness and contrast, you're going to drag on the default one and we'll start with the bottom clip. Now the bottom clip is with the eyes and everything else remember and you're going to turn the brightness down at just a touch, just a touch like this. So you give it a more a scarier look just like so. And we're going to bring up the contrast again just by a tiny bit like this. And now you can X out of this. We're going to add on the color corrector. If you are black and white, simply just come here, drag on a black and white, and you can see your effect will be done just like that. However, I'm going to add on a color corrector because I want the image to come out red like it's a scary feeling. Now, I do have a preset here already. However, I'm just going to remake it. So you would drag on a default one again on the same one and here as you'll see you can choose the colors so if you want a pink you select pink if you want a blue you select blue cyan green yellow and of course just go around now I wouldn't recommend going all the way up because you can see it does make it a bit of a mess so just put little tiny tints and it will give you a good effect overall so you can see right there I've only put the low and the mids up a tiny bit and we can mess with the high as well, just putting up a tiny bit as well. Just like that. And everything else at the bottom you don't need to touch. Now the reason I have a preset there is because when I done the settings, I came to where it says preset, I typed here demon. From there you would select the save icon, X out of this, and it would be saved here. So I'm going to actually use my preset for this. And I've done the exact same things with the brightness and contrast. I have my demon set up here. I'm going to X out of this. And now everything we've put onto this track, you can see the brightness and contrast and the color corrector, we've got to do to the mouth, because of course the mouth is just literally left out at the moment. So, it was the color corrector, and it was also the brightness and contrast. So we can come down here, and you'll see demon, drag on top, just like that. And now, if we play this through, it's going to come out much scarier like, just like that, it's going to happen. Now to make it a bit more scarier, a bit more weirder, on the mouth one, if you come to the event pan and crop, actually rotate it. So, make sure you're on the position, make sure you're right at the start, rotate it upside down. Just like this. So you can come here to the angle, minus 180. Just like that. <laughs> it is just all over the place. Uh, let's just position this in. It's going to be a bit uh, smaller, of course, because it is a bit very weird, in fact. I'm going to position it there. X out of this. Play this through. Just like that, it is done. Now, let's say, for instance, you didn't like the mask, you messed it up a bit. To be honest, I'm not too sure about my mask. I did go a bit overboard. So you would come back to the event pan and crop, come back to the mask, and then what you can do... You can simply just come here, right click, delete, and delete all. This will get rid of the path. So now I'm going to redo it again, and this time I'm going to stay a bit closer to the mouth. You can see it's very quick though, it doesn't take very long. Just like this, connect it back up, and now that is what we have. To me it's a bit better, and I've got to position it again, so there we go. It looks like Joker lips anyway, let's just play this through. That looks better to me. And you can see it's very simple to do. And hopefully you like this video and hopefully you'll use this effect. The good thing about this, you can use it for screamers. Because who would think me talking here would turn into this? 
Well, that is what you can use for screamers, and of course you can add a scream in. I will link scream effects in the description so you can go ahead and download them. Or of course you can use your own if you have them. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated with when he's posting and what we posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel. I'll post four times a week. And finally, check out my Snapchat where I just show you what I do throughout my day. So, yes, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Great. Uh, peace.